Well, PLC is the acronym of uh, Programmable Logic Controller and uh, it is an industrial computer that controls the manufacturing process. Manufacturing processes like food and beverages, pharmaceuticals, cement, oil and gas, automobile manufacturing, all these manufacturing processes require PLC as its core component for controlling the process. In any manufacturing facility, there are lots of mechanical equipments like belt conveyors, pumps, compressors, bucket elevators, fans, valves, actuators, dampers, etc. And the opening and closing of uh, valves or the operation of belt conveyors, pumps, compressors uh, is controlled by a PLC, while at the same time the PLC reads data from uh, various sensors like temperature, pressure, flow level, humidity, vibration, etc. Right? All these sensors send their data to a PLC and uh, after processing the data based on the program stored in the PLC memory, various devices or various equipments uh, like belt conveyors, pumps, compressors, bucket elevators, fans, valves, uh, actuators and dampers are controlled by a PLC. Uh, the PLC sends uh, commands to the uh, electrical motors and they ultimately uh, drive belt conveyors, pumps, uh, bucket elevators and fans etc. Right? And also it uh, sends command to uh, the valves and the valves then ultimately are being opened and closed based on the program stored in the PLC. So uh, in any industry we have lots of sensors and mechanical equipments. So the sensors data is being monitored by a PLC while the operation of all these mechanical equipments uh, is controlled by a PLC. So this is how it controls the process. To further understand the working of a PLC let me draw an analogy between the PLC and a typical computer system. In a typical computer system, there are uh, main sections like uh, power supply, input devices like uh, keyboard, mouse and mic, uh, there is a memory, a processor, a communication card, and there are output devices like monitor and speaker, right? What happens in a typical computer system uh, keyboard, mouse and mic through, uh, for example, these, these three, I have given an example of these three input devices. The data is sent to the computer memory, right, through devices like keyboard, mouse and mic, a microphone. The processor processes the raw data coming from these input devices based on the program stored in the memory and uh, send output signals to monitor speakers, right, etc. There's a communication card uh, and its purpose is to send the data from this computer to a network, right, to an internet uh, network. And vice versa, to receive the data from the network and uh, store in the memory of a computer, right? Similarly, it has a power supply and it uh, provides power to the computer. So this is how a typical computer system work, right? A PLC system works in the similar manner except the fact that the input devices are sensors and switches while the output devices that uh, are being controlled by the, C, uh, by the PLC are electrical motors, valves, actuators, right? So uh, there's a basic difference between uh, the PLC and uh, a typical computer system. Uh, and additionally, the PLC is uh, customized for the rugged environment of an industrial manufacturing facility, right? The environment is dusty, noisy, uh, it, uh, it has high temperature, it may have high temperature and vibration. So the PLC system has the 
immunity against all these odds, right? So PLC works in exactly the same manner as a typical computer system work, except of the fact the input devices are sensors, switches, etc., and the output devices that are being controlled by the PLC are motors, valves, and actuators. Plus, it has the immunity to work uh, against the uh, odds in a typical industrial environment, such as noise, temperature, vibration, dust, etc. Right? So, let me redraw the working uh, of a PLC system. The sensors send the digital and analog data to the PLC system while the PLC then sends digital and analog data to motors, valves and actuators because these devices have to be controlled by the PLC, right? So this is the introductory video about a programmable logic controller. Hope you uh, understood the basic, of, uh, basic introduction of a PLC. Well, initially the automobile industry, it was the PLC was just invented for the automation of automobile assembly lines, but later on it was extended to uh, all the manufacturing processes. And today, in every single manufacturing process, uh, PLC is used as a core component. So this was the basic introductory video about the PLC. In the next video, I will explain the architecture of a PLC system. So see you in the next video.